device overview. Omega is the number one long-range locator, the world's first in detecting groundwater and locating its position, with high sensing technology to detect on long ranges up to 2,250 meters, with depth to 500 meters underground. Device parts. The carrying case contains the following parts. Main unit. High gain antenna. Geophysical system module. Wide frequency range antenna. Two pieces. One meter short connection wires. Four pieces. 24 meter long connection with reels. Four pieces. Connection clips. Four pieces. Ground scan probes. Four pieces. Headphones. Charge adapter. Car charger. Battery pack. Main unit consisting of power key, back key, navigation arrows, confirmation key, OK, quick settings access key, charge port, headphone jack, roaming and receiving antennas with binary stimulation. Device assembly. One, long range locator assembly. Align the high gain antenna with the connector notches and press firmly until it is secured in place. Insert the antennas into the connectors located in front of the main unit and twist them securely. Two, geophysical system assembly. Install the geophysical module into the multifunction connector in the front of the device. Connect one end of the short wires to the designated connectors in the front of the geophysical system connection unit. Connect the other end to the connector in the center of each reel. Connect the plug at the end of the long wire to the crocodile clip. Attach the clip to the ground scan probe. Search systems in Omega. This device can be used and works with three detection and prospecting systems, which are Geophysical Scan System Manual Long Range Locator System Automatic Long Range Locator System These systems utilize High Gain Antenna with Wide Frequency Range Roaming and Receiving Antennas with Binary Stimulation Geophysical system contains four wires and four ground scan probes to connect to the soil. Device working principle. This device works on the electrical geophysical scan and measuring technology, measuring the electrical resistance levels in the soil via the ground scan probes to determine the underground and artesian water locations. Agile system features. This system offers the selection of target from available water type list set by the parameters interface to search for water in the area or checking whether the target exists or not. This system can scan an area of up to 1000 square meters in one minute and presents a complete report about the water proportions and depth. The system features a rapid response and result representation on the display instantly with additional notifications. Search Systems Overview Geophysical Scan System Verification and detection for groundwater can be done using this advanced system, given the confidence in locating and reporting targets. Manual Long Range Locator System The term manual is describing the user ability to adjust the search parameters manually to fit the needed requirements of the search where the target type can be set from the list in addition to the other parameters, as the frontal search distance and the depth. Automatic Long Range Locator System The device has automatic detection system for the located targets and shows the target type on display automatically and calculating the target distance from the device with high precision. The user can also determine the depth after acquiring the target location automatically. 
The device provides the user with a comprehensive report regarding the search process with the ability to save the report or review. Device Balancing The device is equipped with Hand Smart Balance. An indicator on the interface shows the user the right level and balance to hold the device during the search process. Tips before initiating the search 1. Selecting a search location for the system that is away from active establishments and free of high voltage lines, electromagnetic equipment or big machinery. 2. The user should remove any jewelry, metal accessories, watches, etc. before starting the search and keep it out of the search area. 3. It is recommended to start the search process from the north towards the south, where the user back is to the north while facing south towards the target direction, which is the best method to get error-free and accurate results. 4. When using geophysical system, it is recommended to dampen the ground scan probe's location with water before starting the scan process. How to use the search systems Using the geophysical scan system After selecting the system, the interface shows the search parameters, which are 1. Scanning methods There are two scanning methods and that is according to the distribution of the ground scan probes. One of the methods is selected using the arrow keys which are A. Closed scan The ground scan probes are distributed in a square shape with a half diagonal length of 23 meters which is the length of the long wire in each reel. Position the device in the center of the square and connect the short wires between the geophysical module that is attached to the front of the device and the center of the reels then connect the long wires of the reels to the probes by the crocodile clips. B. Open scan In this scan method, the ground scan probes are distributed and positioned in a straight linear form, with the device in the middle of the 46 meters overall distance between the first and last probe. Connect the short wires between the geophysical module that is attached to the front of the device and the center of the reels. Then connect the long wires of the reels to the probes by the crocodile clips. 2. Target type There are four targets that can be selected by the arrow keys which are A. Fresh water B. Salty water C. Mineral water D. All types of water 3. Connectivity the user should wait for the four probes numbers to show inside green circles with a check mark indicating that the connection between the main unit and the ground scan probes is done successfully. 4. Start scan. The previously selected parameters will be shown to the user prior to the scan process, which are scanning method, target type, and the connection status with the ground scanning probes. By pressing the Enter key, the user will be shown a new interface and the scan process will start, which is shown in the middle of the display. The circles with the probe's number change color from gray to green, one by one. The percentages on the left shows the target probability near the probe's number. The user should wait till the scan process is finished. The right upper corner shows a figure illustrating the probe's position and the detected target location relative to the probes. The target is indicated by a blue dot in closed scan method and water droplet in open scan. The result at the bottom shows the user the target depth and density. To save the scanned result, press the Enter key and to review the result later go to the storage in settings. Using the manual long-range locator After selecting the system, the interface shows the search parameters which are 1. Target We have here multiple options like fresh water, mineral water, salty water and all types of water. The target can be changed by the arrow keys. 2. Search distance Starts from 100 meters up to 2250 meters and can be selected by the arrow keys. 3. 
depth starts from 10 meters up to 500 meters and can be selected by the arrow keys. 4. Start search. Display an overview of the search parameters. Press OK to proceed to the search interface. An illustration shows the proper way to hold the device upright, which is parallel to the ground while keeping the roaming antennas on the middle. B. Waveform window shows the signal frequency output operating and transmitting correctly. C. The compass shows the device current direction. D. Balance indicator shows the holding position of the device during the search process, so the user could keep it at the green range. E. Target information box shows the selected search parameters. F. Save icon is to store the current location coordinates for review. After facing the search direction, press OK key or the grip key. The search antenna tracking indicator will be shown in the middle of the interface, where it interacts with the movement of the antennas. The antennas are affected by the target leading to the correct target path. Working and locating targets using the system. The device needs to be balanced and held correctly. The tracking indicator will be shown in the middle of the interface. Hold the device until a signal is received, indicated by the antennas moving from the balanced position towards another direction. The user turns with the antennas pointing towards the new path direction. Reset the tracking indicator by pressing the grip key. Initializing the indicator back to the middle. If the antennas stay on the same path, then the target path is correct. If the antennas turn towards another direction, the user should repeat the steps mentioned earlier again. After that, the user can walk to track the target path and locate it. To do that, press the grip key once to display the target indicator, which is a water drop in top center of the interface. The device makes interactive sounds towards the target direction. Walk toward it. If the antennas turn away from the correct path, left or right, the display shows arrows guiding the user to adjust the direction on a straight course. Once the target point is passed, the antennas will turn all the way left or right, then the user should stop and this is the first halt. Then rotate with the antenna's movement to track the new path. The antennas will stabilize on the same first path line, but in the opposite direction. Keep walking down this direction until the antennas turn again. Here, the user should halt again, and this is the second halt. The target point is the midpoint between the first and second halt. Using the auto long-range locator, Face the targeted search area and wait for the device to receive a signal indicated by the antennas moving towards target's directions. Then turn with the antennas. In the meanwhile, wait for the interactive meter to finish the evaluation and detection process. The interface shows the found target or targets in the search area. To list the detected targets, move by pressing right or left keys to see the target types. Select one of the detected targets to locate its position and measure its distance. When the target is selected from the list of detected targets, the interface proceeds to the next phase in the system, which is the distance measuring. Notice that the device making a sound notification when it is pointing towards the selected target direction. This point and direction are the start point and direction for target measuring distance. Target distance measuring. When the device is aimed towards the target and it is making a notification sound, the direction must be sustained. Here, the start point should be selected, either left or right of the current point. Press the OK key and the arrow shows a prompt for moving 25 meters left or right depending on the selection. After walking the 25 meters distance, Hold the device and wait for the antenna's reading. The reading is indicated by the antennas turning towards the target direction and intersecting with the first path. 
Press the grip key to get the target distance. The result will show on the top of the interface. If the result didn't show, then the arrow will blink, indicating that the user should move another 25 meters. Then press OK key to see the arrows forming a triangle with target distance from the search point. Proceed to the next phase, which is the target tracking phase. Target tracking process. When the target distance appears, press OK key to proceed to the tracking interface. Sustain the balance device position. The interface shows the signal tracking indicator in the middle. Follow the antenna's direction, and if a new path is taken, then reset the path tracker by pressing the grip key to reset the indicator to the initial state. If the antennas stay on that path, that means that it is the correct path to the target. But if the antennas change direction, the user should repeat the previous steps. After that, the user can walk to track the target path and locate it. To do that, press the grip key once to display the target indicator. The device makes interactive sounds towards the target direction. Walk toward it. If the antennas turn away from the correct path, left or right, the display shows arrows guiding the user to adjust the direction on a straight course. Once the target point is passed, the antennas will turn all the way, left or right. Then the user should stop and this is the first halt. Then rotate with the antenna's movement to track the new path. The antennas will stabilize on the same first path line but in the opposite direction. Keep walking down this direction until the antennas turn again. Here, the user should halt again, and this is the second halt. The target point is the midpoint between the first and second halt. Once the target tracking phase is finished, press OK to proceed to the depth measuring interface. Depth measuring process. The user has to move away 5 to 10 meters while the depth measuring interface is ready. Press the grip key and wait for the antenna's reading indicated by pointing towards the target location again. When the reading is complete, the depth result will show on the interface, then the system proceeds to the last stage which is the report. Report Offers a summary of the search process including the target type, distance, the followed path, and depth. The user can save this report in the device storage for later review or discard the report by exiting the interface and confirming the process.